G'day, Jared Munn here from Investors Edge Real Estate, bringing you my September Perth property update. Now, where we've been at over the last month is things have pretty much been on hold. We've been waiting for the election to happen, the new government to get in, and uh, you know everyone's really just been taking a bit of a pause, and the number of properties for sale has been hovering at 9,100, 9,200 properties for sale just over that last two months. And uh, where we're really at in the market is we're waiting to see whether the market's going to tighten up again, heading back towards the uh, Christmas, now that we've got a bit more certainty in things, or whether we're going to continue trending back towards a neutral market as we've been doing since May. Over the last five months, the market has been starting to soften. We are still in a seller's market, so it is a good time to sell if you need to offload any assets. But we're a little bit uncertain at the moment whether we're going to get that you know, growth over the next six to 12 months or whether we're just going to you know, trend sideways for a while. So stay tuned to find out more on that next month as I'm seeing it. On the rental market side, um, the market has been softening and we've changed in our vacancy rate from 2% back in May up to now hovering around 3.1, 3.2%. And what that, that's meaning is more properties are vacant and it's taking a bit longer to rent properties. So landlords have to listen to the market and adjust their rental price quickly if you're not getting the response that you need so that you get your property let fast because nothing's worse than vacancy. You can lower the rent 10 or $20 per week and uh, that'll be far less than a whole week worth of vacancy. So think about the overall return, not just about um, holding out to get your price. On the um, median rent side, we're holding at about 480 per week. So um, we haven't really seen the softening market reflect in price yet, um, but I expect that'll show up in the stats over the next one to two months. Other things that have been happening to affect both the sale market and the rental market is our first homeowners grant and it's being reduced from the fixed $7,000 payable for first home buyers to now being $3,000 for established and $10,000 for new. So what do I expect this is gonna do for our market is we're gonna see home buyers um, favoring building new and buying new, and, um, and they're gonna take a little bit longer to save up if they're gonna buy established. So that's gonna be great for our construction industry. It'll probably help all of our builders get more work coming through and we'll probably see some extra demand in our outer lying uh, first home buyer suburbs where those new properties are available. Um, I'll be watching that closely and reporting back to you on over the next month or two. Um, and that uh, for change to the first home on a grant is likely to come in in, in October when both the lower house and the upper house endorse that change. So not yet in place. Um, if you are going to buy established, now would be the time to do it. And there's more first um, home buyers out and about trying to get those established properties before the grant lowers. So that's really what's happening in the sale and rental market. If you like what you've seen here, subscribe to our monthly uh, community update if you're not already on the um, update list. And I'll catch you again next month.